What is up guys, my name is Joey and I got the iPhone SE on the left and the iPhone 14 on the right and let's do a quick speed test, alright? Let's go with Snapchat 3, 2, 1 iPhone 14 Let's go with Instagram iPhone 14 Let's try Facebook iPhone 14 And let's hop to TikTok And again the iPhone 14 was quicker Now let's try some heavier applications like Crossy Roads Here you can see the gap between Apple's A15 chipset versus the A9 chipset in the iPhone SE. Let's try Among Us. Not bad for a 7 year old phone. Oh, I don't have the account here but it would play the game. Now let's try even a bigger game and let's see if the SE can keep up. Okay, let's try Asphalt 9. Okay, the 14 is ready to start the game. And the SE is lagging big time. I mean, it looks like, okay, I can see the indicator in the bottom right, it's doing something and it's not that I'm opening this application for the first time here, I already tested this before and I can feel the SE is getting hotter, I can feel it on the frame on my thumbs, so let's see if it can open the game. Maybe I will have to speed this up or something, let's see. Now the SE has only 2 gigs of RAM versus the 6 gigs of the iPhone 14, so the 2 gigs have to work extra hard now to load such a big application. Alright, so yeah, Asphalt 9 ready to play on both phones. Now let's try one of my favorite games, Gangstar Vegas. Will we see the intro on both phones? Let's see. Okay, the 14 is ready to start a new game. Let's wait for the SE. Still loading. Okay, let's start a new game and see. Okay, the intro starts playing on the 14 and the SE is only a few seconds behind. Whoa, we got some frame drops on the SE, but other than that, the intro is playing. Again, the 14 is the winner. Okay, let's try a lighter application like the calculator. That was pretty similar. What about YouTube music? And the last application here is Twitch. Again, win for the 14. Now let's see if we got any reloads. Snapchat. It's okay. Let's try Instagram. Also okay. Alright. Let's try Facebook. 
Okay, Facebook reloaded on the SE. Let's try TikTok. TikTok is alright. Uh-oh, it looks like Crossy Roads has crashed. Let's try Among Us. Among Us, black screen as well. Let's try Asphalt 9. Okay, Asphalt 9. Also a black screen. I think the SE had enough for today. Okay, let's test the main camera on both phones now. The SE is capable of shooting in 4K30, which was a big deal back in 2016. Let me show you the footage from this camera. 4K30. Lacking stabilization, so it's a little bit shaky. But other than that, 4K30 it is. The 14 shoots at 4K60. Let me show you a 4K30 footage from the iPhone 14. And this is on a different level compared to the iPhone SE. Let's turn both phones off and let's do a boot up test. Boot up in 3, 2, 1. It was clear from the get-go that the iPhone 14 would win all these tests, but I wanted to show you a real side-by-side -side comparison. We got the squared edges on both phones which is personally my favorite. The SE's got aluminum bag versus the glass bag on the iPhone 14. And look at the smudges on the iPhone 14. You get none of that on the SE. I'm constantly wiping off the bag of the 14 just to keep it clean. If you made it up to this point, you are a rock star, bruh. Give me a like if you want to and see you in the next one.